Imagine throwing a stone into a still pond. What happens? Ripples, right? These ripples spread out in concentric circles, moving away from the point where the stone hit the water, creating a pattern that is both beautiful and mesmerizing. Gravitational waves are similar, but instead of water, they are ripples in space-time. Imagine the fabric of the universe itself rippling and undulating. Space-time is the fabric of our universe. It's an intricate four-dimensional grid that combines the three dimensions of space with the dimension of time. It's what gives us the dimensions of space and time, allowing us to navigate and understand the cosmos. Massive objects like stars and black holes create curves in space-time. Much like a bowling ball placed on a trampoline, the heavier the object, the deeper the curve. When these massive objects move or collide, they create ripples in space-time. These ripples are disturbances that travel outward, much like the ripples in a pond. These ripples are what we call gravitational waves. They are essentially waves of energy that propagate through the fabric of space-time. They travel outward from the source, carrying information about the event that created them. This information can tell us a lot about the nature of the event. These waves are incredibly faint and difficult to detect. They require extremely sensitive instruments to observe. However, they offer a completely new way of observing the universe. By detecting these waves, we can gain insights that were previously impossible. By studying gravitational waves, we can learn about some of the most extreme events in the cosmos, such as the collision of black holes or the explosion of supernovae. This opens up a new frontier in our understanding of the universe. Detecting gravitational waves is a challenging task that requires precision and advanced technology. These waves are incredibly weak by the time they reach Earth, making them difficult to detect amidst the noise of other cosmic phenomena. To detect them, scientists have built extremely sensitive instruments called interferometers, which can measure minuscule changes in distance. The most famous of these detectors are the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, or LIGO, in the United States and Virgo in Italy. These facilities are at the forefront of gravitational wave research. These detectors use lasers and mirrors to measure the tiny stretches and squeezes in space-time caused by passing gravitational waves, which are ripples in the fabric of space-time itself. Here's how it works. A laser beam is split and sent down two perpendicular arms, each several kilometers long, creating a precise measurement system. The beams are reflected back and forth by mirrors at the ends of each arm, allowing for repeated measurements to increase accuracy. When a gravitational wave passes through the detector, it slightly changes the length of one arm relative to the other, a change that is incredibly small but detectable. This difference in length causes a tiny shift in the laser light pattern, which is detected by sensitive instruments. These shifts are then analyzed to confirm the presence of gravitational waves and to study their properties. Gravitational waves provide us with a new way to study some of the most enigmatic objects in the universe, black holes and neutron stars. These objects are incredibly dense and emit very little light, making them difficult to observe using traditional telescopes. However, when these objects collide, they generate powerful gravitational waves that we can detect. The first direct detection of gravitational waves in 2015 was from the merger of two black holes. Since then, LIGO and Virgo have detected gravitational waves from several other black hole mergers and even a collision between two neutron stars. These detections have provided us with unprecedented insights into the properties and behavior of these extreme objects. The story of gravitational waves began over a century ago with Albert Einstein. In 1915, Einstein published his theory of general relativity, which revolutionized our understanding of gravity. Einstein's theory predicted the existence of gravitational waves. He showed that massive objects accelerating in space-time would create ripples that propagate at the speed of light. However, Einstein himself doubted whether we would ever be able to detect these waves. He believed they were far too weak to be measured. It wasn't until decades later with advancements in technology that scientists could even dream of proving Einstein right. On September 14th, 2015, the world of astronomy changed forever. The LIGO detectors made the first ever direct detection of gravitational waves. This groundbreaking discovery confirmed Einstein's prediction after a century of speculation and opened up a new window to the universe. The signal, dubbed GW150914, came from the merger of two black holes located about 1.3 billion light years away. This event released an enormous amount of energy, equivalent to three times the mass of the Sun, in the form of gravitational waves. This detection marked the beginning of gravitational wave astronomy. 
It proved that we could listen to the universe and learn about events that were previously invisible to us. The future of gravitational wave astronomy is incredibly bright. With more sensitive detectors and new observatories planned, we are on the cusp of even more groundbreaking discoveries. One such project is the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, or LISA, a space-based gravitational wave detector scheduled to launch in the 2030s. LISA will be able to detect gravitational waves from sources that are much fainter and farther away than what we can observe from Earth. Another ambitious project is the Einstein Telescope, a proposed underground observatory that will be even more sensitive than existing interferometers. These next-generation detectors will allow us to study the universe in unprecedented detail and uncover even more secrets about the cosmos. Gravitational waves offer a completely new way of looking at the universe. They provide us with information that we cannot obtain through any other means, allowing us to study objects and events that are otherwise invisible to us. For example, gravitational waves can help us learn about the early universe, just fractions of a second after the Big Bang. They can also help us understand the properties of dark matter and dark energy, two of the biggest mysteries in modern cosmology. By studying gravitational waves, we are not just listening to the universe. We are uncovering its hidden secrets and gaining a deeper understanding of our place within it. Imagine the universe as a grand orchestra with each celestial object playing its unique instrument. Each star, planet and galaxy contributes to this cosmic symphony, creating a harmonious blend of celestial music that spans the vastness of space-time. For centuries, we have been limited to observing the visible light from these instruments, like seeing the musicians but not hearing their music. Our telescopes have allowed us to see the dazzling light shows, but the true essence of the cosmic performance remained hidden. Gravitational waves are like finally hearing the orchestra play. These ripples in space-time carry the vibrations of the universe, allowing us to listen to the cosmic concert that has been playing for billions of years, revealing the symphony of sounds produced by black holes colliding, stars exploding, and the universe itself expanding, now singing their powerful songs through gravitational waves. If you enjoyed this, consider liking, subscribing, and pushing the bell icon to be updated on the go.